Yes, uh, I was. This is Mark. I was going to make that whole video on one, but uh, it's uploading right now. Uh, Noah, don't leave the boat. Uh, this is part two. I was going to make it all, all on one, but I noticed that my, my uh, video was flashing. So, as I stated in my other video, there's Noah, which that's us. There's a representation of us. Uh, like I said in the other video, uh, nothing is new under the sun. Anything that happened before will happen again. As the Bible says, this is part two. So if you haven't seen this video that I have uploading right now, um, Noah. Noah, don't leave the boat. Then uh, see that first. Now we'll carry on with Lot. Um, as I stated, Noah's us, the lukewarm, which is, I believe, 80% of the people that will wake up. Uh, as I stated in my uh, Jonah video, then there's Lot. In uh, what happened in Lot, Lot escaped before the wrath. And uh, here it is. And spake unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened the Lord, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the man laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him. And they brought him forth, and set him without the city. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life, look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain, escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. consumed. And the Lord said unto them, Oh, not so, my Lord. Behold now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast shown unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city, for the which thou hast spoken. Haste thee. See, the lukewarm, they aren't do God's wrath. They will not have uh, wrath on them from God. Doesn't mean that man, something from man won't happen. But uh, God's wrath isn't due on us, his children. Escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou be come thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. See, just like uh, I stated with my, uh, my timeline, in, uh, everything is in the Bible. The uh, bride leaves first, Noah, then the lukewarm will have time to repent. And if they repent, they will be delivered. And that is also Revelations chapter 17, or excuse me, Revelations chapter 14. 14. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. And with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, but they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, 
being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. See, hour of his judgment. His judgment's going to be fire and brimstone, just like in Sodom and Gomorrah. That's when a third of the earth will be uh, um, uninhabitable, let's say. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, if you die, you're going spirit, to heaven. That they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in thy sickle, and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. See, if you notice it said Babylon is fallen. Babylon is fallen. Just like my timeline. Babylon falls, and we are taken out. Before Babylon falls. Babylon falls, then there's going to be, I believe, roughly 40 days. Just like Lot escaped, there's going to be a time. The angels were here. Angels were there gathering Lot. The Lord's servants, same thing, gathering people, gathering people. Just like I said, uh, there's uh, before the destruction comes, the lukewarm who have repented, uh, the Lord takes them out. Uh, just like in Lot, the servants came, servants of the Lord. And uh, let's carry on. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust it. These people that are gathered, they aren't due God's wrath. They are uh, his children. But after, if you don't repent, as it says in Revelation chapter 2 and 3, if you don't repent, you go into great tribulation. Those are tribulation saints. In his sickle into the earth, and gathered the vine of the earth, and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the winepress, even unto the horse bridles, by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. So, uh, like I said, I hope that puts all the events... Revelation. The events there for you um love all that matches up with my timeline as i've stated the lord showed me uh the bride leaves first 
um, then uh, the lukewarm that had her spewed out of the Lord's mouth, just like uh, going with Jonah, then to Lot. I could carry on into Moses, but uh, that's for the Jews. The Jews will escape into the wilderness. And uh, like I said, if you if you read this too, they're already the mighty men are already in their caves. Uh, they know the wrath is coming. And uh, like I said, a lot of people read this. You have to slow it down like uh, like I'm doing right now. Uh, you can read it for yourself. The uh, When Babylon falls, that is not from God's wrath. That uh, Babylon's fallen, that's uh, the reset that uh, the evildoers of this world are doing. Uh, they think they're going to escape God's wrath. They are hiding in their caves when Babylon falls because they do it. And then after that, uh, then uh, I, I believe there's roughly a 40-day period of the harvest. And then God's wrath comes after just like Lot escaped right here. Lot escaped. So I hope that all puts everything together for you. And I'll be sending out these videos. Uh, the storks just left uh, Jerusalem. They did the other day, which is nor not normal. They left early. Um, and then you know everything that's going on in the Middle East right now. They're ready to go. Love all. Hope to see you soon. Bye.